Kill this Euro truck. Know how we do it. Honda, hold on. Do that. I'm Saddam. Hell yeah. Hey, Euro baby. Money real quick. You know, get all this paper. You know, dump on a couple cats. Euro truck. I want to tell that. Speedball legend tour. On that way. Give me Dallas Airport. About to go start this thing. Here we go. What's up? We on the European tour with the street ball legend. Sitting here with my man Patty. Patty Dog. Kitty Kitty Pat. You about to get some when you see him Friday, Thursday night. I show sure he's all about. He's gonna bring it to you. With the, the spin ball that will be on the back between the legs. It's coming. Stay tuned. Good morning. Good morning. We are in Brussels. We are in Brussels. I ain't never been here. We want to have to be here. It's gonna be a good time. basketball has some of the best athletes in the, in the entire world. Um, these guys can do some unbelievable things with the basketball. Um, you know, uh, we, we find that some of the guys we have here today, including Hot Sauce, who I think is probably one of the best um, and most popular street ball players we've seen in the past decade, you know, throughout the world. Um, he's here to entertain. I think these guys have some incredible talent. Um, but we've also combined street basketball with some former NBA players. And we think that, you know, that combination is going to really excite the fans. Um, you're going to see basketball like you've never seen before. And so we're just really excited about it and hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, sometimes street basketball players probably didn't um, play for the top colleges or universities. You know, but they continue to excel. And uh, with the infusion of hip-hop and, and basketball and just the ability to create, be creative, uh, do things with basketball that aren't that conventional. Um, I think that I gave those guys a, a incredible lift. And um, uh, with the onset of ESPN, MTV, all these different television um, outlets, gave these guys a chance to show the world their true talent. Um, it's just a, you know, it's a credit to the street basketball industry and it's some of the uh, basketball executives that allow these guys to really showcase their talents. And with the SBA, we try to, you know, to harness these guys' skills put them out on the platform, and allow the world to see these guys' talents uh, like unseen before. It will be a good team. 
Uh, it's going to be an awesome team. Um, and I think if you guys have a chance to come out either this evening or tomorrow and watch us work out some, you know, then you'll see a taste of it. But I'm um, going to look forward to showing you um, in the three games we're going to have this week um, what these guys really can do and how they can create. I think the sport has, uh, has, has transcended and took to more of a money situation. It's not more of a competitiveness as far as like going out there and trying to and uh, be competitive. I think it's more like you know, it's more like the show. It's more like for the money and stuff like that. But you know, when we play, the others is the you know, guys like this right here. Man, and it's, it was more for for the game. It was for the money. And we go out there and play basketball. We out there to go out there and kick your ass instead of going out there and try to get a paycheck. And uh, I think today is very difficult to look at look at basketball today because it, it's not it's hard because you you know so many guys out there they can really play, but sometimes you think that they're giving you 70 percent, 80 percent. But I think the collective guys here, like Tracy Murray is here, uh, putting their putting their hard work uh, in the late 80s, uh, mid 90s, and stuff like that, and we're here to put on the show. We got some of the greatest players up here. I mean, the people that really don't really recognize as far as like in Europe. You got a Tim Hardaway, Muxy Bowers, you got Dale Ellis, you got Tracy Mirror, and you got most of these streetball players here that you ain't heard of. But come Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, you're gonna hear a lot of these guys and you're gonna see what they can do.